All right, the doubleheader on, uh, again, the second game of the doubleheader on ESPN. Pac-12, Cal and USC, Trojans at home, 16 and a half, 75 and a half the total. You look at Darnold, who took over when they made the quarterback change. He is seventh in pass efficiency, 8.9 yards per attempt, 13 touchdowns, two interceptions. Offensive coordinator T. Martin, the best thing is just knowing the quarterback. Early in the year, it was two, QB, two QBs. Once we announced who the QB was, it was going to be okay. What is he like? You have to call the plays if you're him. We're kind of getting into a nice rhythm, end quote. And that, that's exactly what's happened the last few games is USC's moving the football. Yeah, I mean, we talked about Jared Evans a minute ago, and he's number eight in pass efficiency. That's because Sam Darnold's seven, you know, and the numbers have been great uh, so far this season. When he's averaging almost nine yards per attempt, you're doing something right. Plus, they're coming off a bye. Helton's coming off uh, the bye week to tweak the offense uh, more around Darnold's skin. Because remember, uh, Darnold's skills, he's a far better runner than the original starter, Max Brown. So I wouldn't be surprised at all to see USC have some more read option in there tonight and more uh, rollouts that give the quarterback the throw-slash-run uh, decision to make. That's something that Arnold, in theory, should be able to do, to do pretty well. And USC's off a bye. Yeah. There'll be a big difference in freshness compared to Cal. They've had only six days off since that overtime game versus Oregon. A draining game. There was 203 total offensive snaps in that contest. Yeah, and Davis Webb's a good quarterback. The tech transfer, number four in the nation in passing yards. He's got uh, a ton of passing touchdowns as well, 27 touching uh, passing touchdowns. Five of the last six Cal games decided on the final possession. What do you think? Do you trust that defense? And that's a lot of points, though, for USC to be laying. Yeah, I mean, you know, you talk about all these Cal games coming down to the wire. Uh, you know, five of the last six down to last possession, two of them in overtime, one in double overtime. You know, the team with the ball last has been winning lots of Cal games this year, but this is good a defense that Cal has faced in 2016. I wonder if David Webb, Davis Webb, and a tired Bears defense is going to be able to compete against USC in the second half of this ball game. Uh, it's not a game that I plan on getting involved with from a wagering perspective. Up next, the deep dive will be the NBA, the doubleheader on ESPN tonight with OKC and the Sixers and the Rockets and the Lakers coming up on Sportsbit. Betting Insight today on SBRPicks.com. Hey guys, for the full video, go to SBRPicks.com. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SBR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.